because this presentation is a business presentation. Uh, that's the first time I present this project uh, within such a festival or of art or whatever it is. Uh, usually I present it in uh, marketing conferences and uh, to the seed funds. The next week we present to it to the guys uh, from the Silicon Valley who are invited by the Czech American uh, Trade uh, and Commerce Chamber and so on. So please uh, uh, excuse me for this business presentation. Uh, so I have first to uh, explain you some rules of business presentation. Uh, uh, if you make the real business presentation, you have to find a quotation provider. Uh, that should be a business guru. You know, uh, luckily enough, we have found one such. Usually, you have to outsource from different sources, but we were lucky enough to find just one who covers all our needs. Uh, that's this JS Uvalent. So, if you see some of this blurb in it, it's just aimed at the business people, not at you. You know, uh, so it's how it how it is possible that some idea came across your mind. It comes out of the blue. Uh, of course, if you start a business, you have to so, uh, to to look first at your resources. So that's uh, the analysis. Can can we? Put the lights again. That's a little bit light motif here. A little bit the, the lights down. Okay, thank you. We analyzed the situation in the Czech Republic. We are we are a very small country in the middle of Europe. We've got very little resources. Uh, as you see, fossil fuels they are running off. Biomass, including the population, they were a little bit up and they go down again. And now we realized we've got one very good resource, which goes all the time up. Uh, OK, don't ask for the numbers. Uh, they will come later to this analysis. Uh, you can follow the bad mood in the Czech Republic, which goes up again. Uh, no, 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 it goes. It's, it goes back, or I don't know, it's this analysis is quite complicated. Uh, so let's go. Uh, that's actually the business we do, bad mood reduction. Uh, you don't probably know the, the, expression, the famous expression of our former president, Václav Havel, who said something about the bad mood in the society. Uh, that's this perception of corruption. So, and now we can see how the good mood goes up with Corruptur. That's our travel agency. We just up the good mood, you know? We do it this way. Uh, just another, uh, just another uh, uh, quotation from our quotation provider. Uh, so, there is something very obvious in it. You see, it, it's a typical truism uh, we use in business. Then, then we, let's speak about the nature of our business. Uh, you probably don't know that the Czechs are very good at recycling. We have so much plastic, uh, you know, uh, so all this stuff. All the, all the bottles and so on. So if we recycle them, we are even better than Germans. We have much more of them, and we can export them to China. <clears throat> uh, so the recycling is a something natural to us. You see, we recycle business, corruption, and politics, and we are in this circle. Uh, of course, any business presentation is not possible without some pyramids. You know, uh, 
so let me, let me explain this pyramid. We start with the business, which is down there. These are these grassroots, uh, the businessmen working every day, then the politics sitting up on them, and the corruption on the top. You know, we have a very similar situation in Czech Republic, like in Austria, where actually this pyramid should be right, you know, uh, on the top, you know? So down there, uh, on the grassroots level, you can't meet so much corruption in our everyday life. But if you go up as a politician, you can meet a lot of it, and you can have a lot of it, and all opportunities are open. Uh, you see? So usually, the businessman should go through political parties to reach the top of the corruption, or the corruption on the top. That was not our way to do it. As you see, we can. Uh, of course, I get uh, pretty excited when I speak about my business now. You understand it. We start business right at the top of it. You know? So we put ourselves right at the top of this pyramid. Uh, that's a little bit of our business vision, because if you look in the future, you have to get some vision. That's our vision. So, another some motivation speech from our business talk provider. Uh, now, let's go to the story of Corruptor. It was launched uh, on uh, uh, Travel Industry Expo in Prague this February. We just hired a stand there, uh, like others, like other traveling uh, agencies. Uh, uh, so they were a little bit surprised, because usually people come to such expos to buy cheap holidays in August or in September, you know? Some, some people are able to think so much in advance uh, what they will do in summer, what I'm not able to do, but uh, I appreciate it. Uh, so we introduced this there, so many people just thought we were just hoax, you know? It is not possible, this bus is can't really, you know, start and to go to, let's say, a villa of one, uh, I don't know, godfather somewhere in Prague. But, so you can see, that is the president of an association of Czech hotels. Uh, uh, all these people were there. Uh, but we just uh, sold the first bus uh, in four days of this Expo and many others actually already, but that was the the, the evening which the at which the the expo closed. We have we had already the bus full of people, and we were uh, going out for the first trip. Uh, uh, that was this fir first trip. Uh, there were of course much media attention in this moment. So some of these journalists uh, uh, objected against the fact that there were other journalists, you know, because there were more than three in one bus, or more than them, sometimes half of a bus. But uh, we said we couldn't really discriminate against journalists if they pay a ticket. They are a customer as, an, as all others. Uh, actually, that was uh, that was the claim of our first uh, of this of this tour, the first one we did. Uh, that the greed is actually just an instinctive behavior, so we can watch all these people with uh, uh, who have developed such a greed, uh, which uh, uh, as as something as a natural phenomenon. That's the way the Czech media got excited about it. So I appeared in the different media. They were just asking me whether I want to raise some awareness about something. I said, no, I don't want. I want to make money. 
uh, we didn't cover our tours or they, you know, the destination. So they were very popular in a moment. You know, they were in all media. Uh, so that was actually one of them. We introduced it to the public that this is uh, this was one spot in Prague. So it was then quite daily in different uh, television channels and so on. Uh, then actually, because the idea looked quite new, uh, there were media reports from all over the place. I don't remember all of them. I mean, just you see, that's a real business presentation. Uh, there were plenty of them. Uh, yeah, that was a, a Austrian one. Uh, sometimes they were like Slovak media were quoting the media from Australia or something like this. You know, they were like quite strange. And if if you start a business, it's very important to send a message in Portuguese. You know, because then it's possible to spread across. Uh, you know, Brazil, Mozambique, Angola, and so on, which is very important. Uh, <clears throat> and it happened actually. Uh, there were only little places where we had no clicks from, like North Korea, which I wonder a little bit because they have so developed corruption there, so they could be interested. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there is another quotation from our business guru if something is happening all the time, it's not a happening. Uh, now, let's go to the structure of our offer in this moment, as we are offering something, let's say, entirely new in the history of uh, uh, tourism. And uh, so we've got some, uh, some tours in Czech, some in English, some in German. Uh, uh, the most popular up there that's a so-called safari tour. We go to the different places where uh, the birds who control uh, the Prague live, you know, and we visit their nests or dens. And uh, we just explain to the people how they live, what's their uh, way of feeding themselves, and so on. Uh, another tour is called the Hospital on the Edge of the Law, Oh, which is uh, alluding to a little bit to uh, to medical theory, which was uh, broadcast in, uh, in Czech television some time ago. I don't remember. I was very I was a kid, but I liked the the name. Uh, then I come probably a little bit uh, later to this because we had uh, some disputes with these hospitals, which didn't really want to be on our list. <coughs> Uh, then we've got some other tours to other cities. Uh, uh, we've got one tour which is called the best of the Prague worst. Uh, so we show different corruption monuments. We go in, uh, we visit these places and we say it's, a, it's a great, we've got these monuments and we hope these monuments stay with us forever so we can bring more and more people but sometimes, as a new mayor, for example, of Prague now, said he wants to change some contracts or something, actually vandalizing these very precious uh, monuments we have now. So we hope that most people come now and to see these monuments. In this moment, this cultural heritage. Uh, see, there is, a, there is of course, uh, German tour or English one, there is a German tour. Sometimes there are word puns like Bischtechendes Prague. You can translate it for yourself who is able in English or in German to translate it. So the, let's go to some numbers. If you were a seed fund now, you know, <coughs> uh, uh, we made like more than 50 tours. We already I, that's an approximate number because it, of course, changes every week. Uh, we've got some 
more than 1,200 uh, customers. Uh, these are German students. You see, this time, uh, of course, they're paying for it, so they want to see it. <clears throat> Yeah, there's another, uh, uh, there is another quotation from our quotation provider. So if the only freedom left to the mass man is the freedom to watch, then the mass tourism is actually making the full potential of this freedom to watch, you know? So we are actually doing mass tourism. Uh, so we've got, if you like, uh, in this mar uh, we have got only one target group, people. Uh, it's true, I mean, sometimes it happens that to some tour there are more men than women for a while, but then women come, <laughs> you know? Sometimes we've got more students, than, but then again came uh, older people or something uh, happened to this structure, we don't know how, we didn't really study it, we have probably to study it for our uh, investors <coughs> in the future. <coughs> mm. So there's another, you see that, the, that the, that's quite a productive quotation provider. <coughs> uh, if you are familiar with the concept of some marketing P's, we've got only one marketing P, which is politics. And we do uh, merchandise, of course, because actually we are commodifying every aspect of corruption. We, commodi we turn everything in commodity, uh, uh, so we make a commodity even of some stories, which has, I can tell you one of them, uh, which we turned into a book we sell. Uh, just we were we went to one of these hospitals and uh, they blamed us for, let's say, intruding into the hospital. But actually we just visited kind of foyer or, you know, hall which is uh, inside in the hospital, somewhere where you can buy uh, your cigarettes and so on. We were waiting there and explaining how the waiting in this hospital functions because you go there and there go some other people who are a little bit, uh, who've got better relationship to the director and they skip you. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, actually, uh, the law department of the, of the hospital sent an invoice to me and such a letter. Uh, so, there was an exchange of letters uh, between me and the uh, chief of, uh, of the law department of the hospital. I actually, I considered it a sort of love correspondence, love letters, you know? Uh, because actually, that was a typical situation in love. We, have, we had some common goals, but she didn't recognize it. So I was telling her that actually they are like an old castle, which can, we can like cooperate actually. You know, they will sell tickets, uh, and we, we will bring tourists in. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, I paid this invoice, and we just packed all the letters in a book, which is called Love Letters About the Public Health, and we sell it for some money. We already made the same money we paid to the hospital. <coughs> uh, and now, uh, to another point, what we did now, which, which is kind of fresh action, uh, uh, that's incorporation. <coughs> because actually, uh, we are probably the only corporation which is now hosted by uh, Steiersche Herbst. <coughs> so, we became a corporation according to Czech law, some more than two months ago. But it, uh, you know, the, you get to this, uh, to this registry of, of companies and so on. Uh, 
This is a board. We have these two two tire system in Czech Republic. You know, we've got actually two boards, actually the same as in German law. Uh, so these are these three men. We are capitalists, as you see. Uh, so if you invest in us, we will uh, uh, we will grow your property as much as ours. <coughs> uh, that's a supervisory board we've got. And now I go to the shares. Uh, we split shares in many, many shares, which is not usual. Usually you, you have just a couple of them. We have many of them. Uh, and all of these shares, uh, they are in forms of so-called beer warrants. Uh, if you are not familiar with, the, with this concept, they function just as a banknote. Uh, it's something like this is possible in Czech Republic. There are many countries where it's not possible, but there are other ways how you can do it. So just research the way you can do it in your country. Uh, uh, actually, what happens, nobody knows who owns the company right in this moment, which helps some people who make open the public tenders to open them actually for themselves, first of all. So they make uh, the business with a company which is their own, but nobody knows it. <coughs> so we made actually the same documents, the same share warrants, and we will sell them just to the people. Uh, they are not very expensive. If you want, you can buy some of them. Uh, of course, there is a special uh, ritual how we uh, hand them over to you. Uh, uh, so you can make money from corruption as we do, and you can buy shares in our company and to be one of us. Uh, you can put it, of course, if you like, you can put it in your living room or in a sitting corner uh, to see it every day. Uh, but you can do the same as the others, so you hide it somewhere. Uh, so, let's me go to, to the bright future of this business. <clears throat> uh, what I can promise to you if you buy our shares. Uh, what we will do first, of course, incoming, that's what we do now, because an incoming is a kind of export. You know, if the tourists come, they actually buy something and they go with it outside, so you get a good uh, uh, export uh, saldo. Uh, and of course, we will do franchising. So if you've got some interesting corruption cases, we will help you to turn them into a sort of tourist experience. Uh, of course, it's based all on creativity, uh, no art whatsoever, but just the creativity. Uh, because our business, more than others, as we call it, an oil industry downstream, you know? Because if the corruption is really hidden, like in, I don't know, in Saudi Arabia and somewhere there, you know, this is really hidden and it's of no use. But you have to have some people who pump it up, you know, some people like, you know, who fight usually the corruption, if, or, uh, I mean, be media or so on, if they pump it up, then you can use it for this kind of business, making an experience out of it, or tourist experience, or whatever you like. Uh, and of course, sense of humor, because we always look at the bright side of uh, graft and sleaze. Actually, that's uh, one of our assets. Uh, there was a for former mayor of Prague, and there was a man who was behind him. You know, so we just combined them in one uh, in one picture, because he was a he he's a very passionate mountainer. You know, he climbs all the uh, Mount Everest and everything. While he was a mayor of Prague, he climbed the Mount Everest. He had enough time to do it, and everybody wondered how it was possible. And then it came out that he had this man who actually made all the work for him. Uh, so we suppose he was a kind of his Sherpa, uh, so we, we, he can help him on the top. Uh, 
because as a people were contacting us from all part of the world, we've got the letter from Nepal as well. You know, we've got from, I don't know, Peru, Argentina or Nepal, they from Nepal, so we used it for this picture. And of course, it's a bright future of all tourism as a space tourism, uh, but uh, we will be exploring the dark side of the planet Earth in this case. So let's see you at our next corruption tour. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Peter Schwurek. I think we might have we might have just time for a very short question. If anything comes up, please go ahead. Hi, it's a great presentation. Thank you for that. And I, have, I wonder, I have an investor question to you. <laughs> If you, if you like. Um, how big is this market, first and second, and how are you planning to grow further in the corruption market? How big this market is? Uh, I, sometimes, I mean, it's growing still. So there's a, plenty of niches. You know, you can do this business in different ways. We actually, we, we, I met some, I, I, I applied for some European program. Um, I actually, I met a, uh, I met an entrepreneur from Austria uh, who just contacted me for doing this business in Austria. And uh, we just met and he said, I'm in a, some sort of uh, European program for young entrepreneurs, whatever it is. You know, I never heard about it. You know, I just started the business without it. But uh, I probably c could use this <laughs> next time, uh, um, this kind of money. But he actually wanted to join with me within this program. So I just, I said, okay, why not? It's not my problem if you want to get paid for what you didn't done. Uh, but so then, then we actually, then we actually joined, I, I, I entered this program and while I entered it, it came from all the part of Europe, kind of, I've got a hotel in Spain. I would love to provide such an experience for my people who come here, you know? So could we join, because it's a, something interesting, you know, and some, somebody from hung, Hungary or some, you know, there's like a kind of connecting me, I don't know, because you can, oh, there is a kind of shaking hand process in this uh, program, so I can't shake hand to everybody, you just shake hand with someone for two months and then someone else for another <laughs> two months. <laughs> so I have to think about it, I don't even have time to read all these, uh, you know, CVs of these people, so... <clears throat> Really so super short. Very short question. So I understand that you're totally dependent on cor corruption. Do you have any chance of increasing co corruption? Because that could be very uh, profitable. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, mo many people think that we need really m much corruption. It's not true. Actually, if you study the case, you know, a little bit. Because we are really downstream. What we need is a high perception of corruption. That's what our business is based on. You understand? So that's it. So thank you. Thank you, Peter Schurek.